Hi, I'm Chris Strom, and today we're going to show you the high and low voltage connections for your Aqualab system. Open the larger disconnect box that houses the 24 volt DC power supply. Connect the ground wire to the grounding lug. Next, connect the three supply voltage wires to the bottom of the disconnect switch. Connect the pump power supply cable to the bottom of the disconnect box. Ensure that it is properly seated and screwed completely in by hand. Connect the home run cable to the valve node as shown. Connecting the green data cables begins at the gateway on terminal PJ102. Then connect the other end to the in port on the first valve node. The next green data cable will connect to the out port on the same valve node. If there is only one panel and pump, this cable will plug into the top port on the pump. If there are two panels and a single pump feeding them, this cable will go to the next panel in port. Now you will connect to the out port and connect to the top port on the pump. The gray power cables will connect to the M12 connections on the disconnect. The gateway power cable connects to the port labeled PJ101. Each valve node requires a power cable connected to it as shown. The last step is to connect the Ethernet or CAT5 cable to the port on the bottom of the gateway. That completes the electrical connections of your new Aqualab system. Thanks for watching and be sure to check out our other tutorial videos.